Hey guys, now it's Rossi Gandhi, and I just want to talk to you guys about Heart Gold and Soul Silver. Heart Gold and Soul Silver seems like a pretty good game, right? You're correct, because IGN gave the game an 8.5 out of 10. Which is pretty good, you know, considering it's Pokemon and, you know, people seeing the same old thing. But what they said basically is the only downfalls to the game are the Pokemon's voices. They, they use the same voices from the regular gold and silver games, which is kind of boring. They should have did something a little bit new. They used the old scratchy uh, GBA, GBA? No, 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 Game Boy Color uh, voices, you know, the mixes, whatever you want to call it. And it just doesn't sound as new as it should be, considering, you know, the game is completely new. Also, IGN also stated something that's very usual. You know, the whole style of the Pokemon games, you know, you battle people, and then you get a badge, and then you go battle people, you gotta battle people all over the place, and it's pretty, you know, original. Just sticking to the whole plot, but that's great, because... They said that this game, these two games, Heart Gold and Soul Silver, are more uh, critical within like the uh, attacks. You know, when uh, an attack hits an opponent, it's more. It, it it matches up with the sound a lot better, and they really did a lot of uh, better things to it because uh, a lot of people did say that the uh, the Gold and Silver games, you know, the whole Johto games, were possibly the best, but. When it comes to graphics, Diamond and Pearl and Platinum, they were the best. So, just mixing those together, plus adding the one thing that everybody loved from Pokemon Yellow, the whole thing with Pikachu following you around, that makes this an awesome game, I think. Heart Gold and Soul Silver. They get this. If you guys didn't know this, you got, you're going to know this now. Heart Gold and Soul Silver, you know, just like, just like any other game, remember you uh, battle through all the badges, you beat the Elite Four, and then you're done. In this game, you battle eight gym leaders, get all eight badges, then you beat the Elite Four, then you think you're done, right? You're like, fuck this game. No, nope, pick that shit back up. You know why? Because you have eight more gym leaders and a whole new place to go to. Yes, that's right. Just like in Gold and Silver, right after you beat Kanto, I mean Johto, right after you beat Johto, you can go straight to Kanto and beat the eight gym leaders there. Plus, battle their Elite Four. You know, that is amazing. That makes me think, what's the point of having the, uh, you know, Kanto games, you know, like, uh, Blue and Red, and, uh, just putting those on the DS when you have this. But then again, it would be nice to have Blue and Red on the DS, you know, just alone. But, uh, you know, you get the battle. The Johto Gym Leaders, the Kanto Gym Leaders, you can see them all in their 3D type forms and shit. You get to see them all... In full color, full color this time, you know, full color, amazing graphics, and you know, that's, that's just bringing your childhood back, you know, that's a great thing, I love that, I, I really do. So just like the year Pokemon follow you around, you might think, oh, that's so awesome, and every single Pokemon can follow you anywhere, anywhere, uh, I think anywhere, oh, and oh, 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 you guys, um, there's these new mini games. It's like the Pokemon challenges or something, and you get to pick your Pokemon, and they get to like do all these challenges. Like there's a race, like when you get to you get to dodge like piles of boulders, and you get to like run around with your Pokemon doing stuff. I, I, I it's really cool. I really saw it, and it's really cool. So uh, if you guys would check that out, that would be you know just freaking amazing. So yeah, in addition to all that, you get you know just this amazing new thing to the whole gameplay of gold and silver. It's just bringing back what you love about gold and silver and about the whole Pokemon games and they just put in a whole lot more into there making you want to come back for more. I love that. I love it. And with the whole, you get to call up people, you know, call people and say, hey, you want to battle on your uh, Poke, Poke gear? Uh, just like in gold and silver. Uh, oh my god. You know, you, you, you always have somebody to battle. Just like, um, in all the other games where you, where you like battle people and it's just like, oh, they don't want to battle ever again. No, because people call you and then they say, oh, psh, you want to battle, bitch? I'm like, yeah, sure, I'm up for it. 
got level 50 Pokemon and your punk ass probably still has level 20. <laughs> you know? So it just gives you more gameplay. I love that they're giving you more stuff to do. So it makes it a lot more of a fun experience for you. I love that. So, Heart Gold and Soul Silver is coming out on March 14th. Uh, for the DS, of course, DS and DSi, whatever you want to say, but it's just the DS, because DSi is the DS still, right? Yeah, it's pretty much. Except they don't have the GBA slot, but whatever. Um, it has Wi-Fi capabilities, as you already know, you get to battle with people all across the universe, and world, I mean, all across the world, and you get to trade people with people in the whole um, global trading center. Uh, which is pretty good. Uh, th there's one thing about the Global Training Center that I actually really noticed within, like, um, uh, with a Diamond and Pearl. Um, there's, like, one Pokemon. If you have that Pokemon, and you will get any Pokemon that you want if you have that, just, like, this one Pokemon. Everybody's looking for, like, a level one Mew. I'm like, what? I'm, I'm serious. It's, it's weird, but, you know. So I, it, oh wait, I almost forgot the one thing about it that is very special and very good to know. This game is going to cost 40 bucks, which is kind of, this is a little bit steep for a DS game, because usually they cost about $35, you know, and the Wii games have dropped uh, to, give or take, $40, or, for, no, not $40, yeah, all, not all of them, but some of them have dropped to $40 and stuff, you know, the, the, the different new ones. But uh, this one is 40 because it comes with something that's very awesome. It comes with a little thing called a Poke Walker. It's like a pedometer. And as you walk, it kind of like... It's, it's like having your Pokemon in your pocket everywhere, everywhere you go. So you don't have to keep playing the game. Which is awesome. So that means like if you don't, if you don't feel like playing, you can just like walk around and go to school with it. And just like have it in your pocket. And I think... I'm not 100% sure about this, but I think as you walk around, you your Pokemon gains experience points, so as if you keep walking and stuff, you can get your Pokemon to evolve sooner or later. Uh, get it to level up. I don't, I'm not sure about that, but if, if that is on it, then that would be awesome. And one of my friends at school has told me something that I'm, I'm kind of afraid of. Uh, they told me that in Heart Gold and Soul Silver, uh, with your Pokemon being able to follow you and on the Pokewalker, um, your Pokemon can pretty much just, like, battle any Pokemon that's, like, in the wild, but you're not going to be able to control your Pokemon. Like, your Pokemon is just going to, like, find another Pokemon and just going to, like, start battling. But all you can do is just, like, watch your Pokemon battle. And if your Pokemon loses, there's nothing you can do about that, alright? You can just keep moving along because your Pokemon is now dead. That sucks, but, hey, you know, that's the way things go. So... Definitely pick up this game. It's coming out tomorrow for me because I'm making this video on Saturday. You might see it on Saturday night. So, get it. Oh, and I have something to show you right now. It is the special thing that you can get at GameStop. I just got, I just got it today. Today is the last day you can get it, uh, March 13th. Um, if you do see this video before, you know, your, your GameStop closes, I recommend that you go and get it. If you have not gotten it already, it is the free Jirachi that you get at GameStop. Um, I'll show you this, like, right now. Okay, as you guys know, I do not have any special software for video game stuff. So this is the Jirachi you get. It says it is unknown on the Pokedex. It is Jirachi, as you see there. It's a little bit hard to see. Uh, it is a Steel Psychic type Pokemon, and where it says OT, it says GameStop. That's where where you obtain the Pokemon. It's a level five Jirachi. It comes with a Lychee Berry or Lychee Berry. Lychee Berry. Uh, it said a uh, relaxed nature. Uh, I, I, just re I just received it today, as you can see, March 13th, 2010. Apparently had a fateful encounter at level 5, likes to run, like sour food, and I obtained it at a Pokemon event. The ability is Serene Grace, it boosts the likelihood of adding effects, added effects appearing. It comes with the uh, moves Wish, Confusion, Rest, Draco Meter, which is like the number one thing that you want to have for your Jirachi. I know you can't really see this, but I'm, I'm trying to get you to know what it is. Draco Meter is the special ability that they're trying to advertise on their commercials for Jirachi, saying you can get a special move with your Jirachi, and like, okay, that's really awesome. So, you know, and uh, one thing I noticed, it comes, with a it comes with a ribbon. That's weird. 
Wait, it, I don't know if it really does come with a ribbon, though. But I just got in mine with a ribbon. So that's all for Jirachi. This is now Tarasin Gandhi saying stay gold and have a great weekend. Hopefully you get heart gold and soul silver. And, you know, see you guys later.